Hi everybody, I'm Henry Li of BlueHarryArts.com. Now I'm going to show you the process of uh, carving a uh, image stamp or seal for uh, Carlo in Italy. He's a Aikido teacher and also a semi painting and calligraphy artist. So um, this is a hand drawn. Uh, draft he sent it to me by email um, for this design uh, with cherry or bl plum blossom uh, and I made this uh, design on the uh, computer uh, with uh, his initial uh, draft and I made some changes uh, as you can see to fit in the square and uh, we have chosen this stone and I made a printout with a laser jet printer. So now I'm going to transfer this uh, design onto the stone. This is the process. It has to be a laser jet printer or copier. And I, carved, I covered the stone with the uh, paper. So I will get a mirror image on the stone with this liquid called acetone nail, nail polish remover and I just pull it on this back it will penetrate through the paper you can pull a little bit or a lot but uh, um, it dries, dries very fast uh, the point is you need to wait to the right moment. Um, if you have less uh, liquid, it may take uh, less than 10 seconds. So I wait to almost like a translucent and then just do it quickly. I think it's probably too early. With a scrubber, or you can use the uh, use the credit card or something. Um, see, uh, it's still too wet, so it got blurred. Um, so this this is why I use uh, a whole sheet of paper with stamps made from the computer and try this. If I'm lucky, I get it right the second or the third try. So I'm going to repeat this. So I have to erase it, so a thin paper is necessary. Okay, um, to prepare the stone, you need to make the surface uh, uh, flat. So you need to rotate the side when you, when you sand the stone. So you know, I rotate the side, because the uh, pressure is different. If you keep it in one position, you will not get perfect flat. So I just switch side. Now, after six attempts, I made it through. So um, it takes practice. And you can, you might find a better procedure to do this, but basically. Uh, you can use the acetone liquid to transfer the design onto this uh, stone with a laser printout from the computer. And then now I use a permanent marker to draw the um, missing lines and uh, to just enhance the image. Uh, sometimes I like to keep the accidental effects during the transfer. Um, so each step is a recreation of the art. Okay, now I'm going to carve and uh, I will use a reference uh, here in the background. And I, I don't really have to follow exactly because this is a, like a painting. I feel more free of uh, doing this uh, free-handedly. So 
um, choose a knife. I think uh, I'll use a medium one to start with. As usual, I do this to the margin. This stone is kind of hard because it's hand carving, so the line shouldn't be perfectly straight. And uh, chipping is uh, part of the aesthetic value um, in this uh, kind of antiquarianist uh, art. Antiquarianism it means uh, restore the ancient uh, art or tradition, like antique. We also call it in Chinese the taste of uh, uh, bronze and uh, stone. intricate uh, with the uh, little petals, things like that, so you cannot really um, do exactly as you planned. You have to go with the feel of the stone, the flow of the process. You don't need to identify all the flowers, but uh, some flowers need to be clear, and so all the other round dots become flowers in the mind of the audience. There's a lot of cutting on the background, I'll do that later. Um, so we do the tree and the flower first, and we'll take care of the background.
stone has lots of sand in it. It's kind of tough. Which is good for this kind of painting or image seal. Create a lot of texture and unexpected feeling that natural tech, you know, effects. Falling flowers. Very nice, spontaneous design. It won't take uh, much time for color to draw, I think, but it takes a long time to make it look spontaneous on stone. I just make all the outlines. Then I use a large knife to do the background. And we'll feel my it's good exercise to feel my muscle work. Well, this way it's a natural chipping here. That's good I suppose to break that let the spirit to, to go through. I feel like a Van Gogh painting, you know, lots of uh, uh, lines, little texture lines. You know. Okay, almost. I need to make the sky a little cleaner. Detail here, move it. Okay. I'll clean up the debris and I uh, will come back uh, to make a stamp. All right. The next uh, is to show you the first imprint. It's always very curious for me to see how it looked like for the first time on the paper after it carved. Okay. And I put some uh, padding underneath it. It's a special rubber pad.
I like the little kind of uh, pawning. I'm not sure if you kind of appreciate that, but certainly it's an accidental effect. It's very poetic. Um, should I leave it? Okay. I think, uh, let me make another uh, light, I mean, light pressure, see if uh, this will reduce, but I do like the granny, not granny, kind of like a flowers, uh, snow, of snow, slot, uh, we call it a snow of uh, cherries, it's like falling in the sky, so, and Press a little lighter to see if it's still there. Hmm. You see, there is much less. It depends on how you apply uh, the ink and the pressure, and different paper may also produce different effects. Uh, since it's a picture, so you don't have to be very um, clean. Okay, it's, um, I like that if accident effect. Uh, as I said, the stroke looked like Van Gogh. Could have more, but that would be <laughs> too much. So this is just enough. I like it. Um, hope you, the audience, also appreciate this, and also um, I hope Kelo love it. Love this. Uh, it's also part of the uh, Zen idea, you know, you go with the moment, the, uh, the flow. Not always it's planned, but when something magic happens, um, we call it hap happy accidents, we need to keep that. So always keep an open mind. Um, okay, now I'm going to make an official stand in my collection album. These are all the recent projects I've done. Exhale a little moisture. So, this is to make it uh, more even and solid. Hold the paper, lift straight up. Okay. And we also make a, another copy for Carlo. Mm. Italy. We made this initial design on the uh, computer paper with a, a ball pen. You can also, uh, I would suggest you use a marker pen. That will uh, be more close to the coverable image on the stone. Because if the pen you use is too thin, I cannot carve the effect you draw. If you design your own stones, make sure you use a thicker marker pen. To thank uh, Carlo, thank Carlo for your trust and the repeated uh, uh, order of my sales carving service. And uh, thank everybody on YouTube for watching. I hope you have a good time enjoying my carving videos. 
To see more uh, samples of my sales, please go to my Facebook, and uh, I will put a link there. And visit uh, bluehenryarts.com to place your order. Goodbye.